Yes, we are in a weather authority alert day for your Wednesday. Now, the reason being is because we have a marginal risk for our severe weather outlook. That is the green highlighted across all of our counties, with the exception of Bath, Highlands, Greenbrier and Pocahontas counties. You guys could still see some thunder showers and some isolated showers throughout the remainder of the afternoon and into the evening. Now, going into tomorrow, the weather authority alert day still stands, and that's because we do have a flood risk, a marginal risk, a one out of five for all of our zones, with the exception of Greenbrier and Pocahontas County being in a slight risk for flood for localized flood threat for localized flood threats. There you go. Uh, severe risk for tomorrow, though marginal risk in green still. It shifted a little bit further to the west this time. However, we could still see some thunderstorm activity out to our east and out towards Lynchburg, south side and parts of the highlands. We could see an isolated chance for some damaging winds and some flooding. Now, flooding is the biggest risk involved with this weather authority alert day through Thursday. And the reason being is because Lynchburg has seen nearly 10 inches of rain in the past seven days. Carroll County has also seen a boatload of rain in the past seven days going out towards Bland and Giles County. You guys have also seen a lot of rain. So if we get more rainfall on top of what we've already seen since last Thursday, we could see some very quick localized flooding happen if we can get a thunderstorm that could drop about one to two inches. We saw that last night over in Carroll County where they had two inches of rain in about an hour. The National Weather Service reported gusty winds at about 40 miles per hour right along I-77, right where it intersects I-81. Now here is the rest of the day. Future Tracker showing 3 p.m. showing some spotty showers starting to pop up South Boston, Danville, over towards Franklin County, right near Patrick and Henry counties, and then out towards the NRV. We could see some more pop-up showers. The same thing sort of continues till about 6 p.m. later on this evening, but by 11, we're primarily in the clear, dealing with just these spotted, isolated showers that could bring heavy downpours. And then going into tomorrow morning, the threat dies down a little bit, but look at this. Once we get to the later stages of the afternoon by 6 p.m., we have some heavier rainfall over parts of the Roanoke Valley that will move into Lynchburg and then parts of the Highlands. Now, this is where that localized flooding threat could come into play. Temperatures around the block, though, right now, we're sitting in the 80s, but our dew points are nearing the 70-degree mark. This is moisture. This is fuel to fuel the storms that we could see later on today and into tomorrow. Now your zone by zone forecast for today, we get only to about 88 all across the board, lower out in the NRV in the Highlands. But future trackers showing heat index values getting near 90, 95 in South Boston, 94 in Danville. And that's because when you factor in the humidity on top of the heat, we're feeling about 10 degrees higher in some places than we actually are, especially out in South Boston where our temperatures only get to about 88 or 89 degrees. But looking at your extended forecast alert day in effect for today and tomorrow. And then Friday, we start to clear up with some isolated chances of rain. And Saturday and Sunday look awesome. And just to reiterate what you've been saying today, eh, tomorrow's out of the two, yeah. the one to look out for. Yeah, today is a weather authority alert day, mm -hmm. but storms are going to be very isolated today. Tomorrow, it will be more scattered going to widespread. Okay, thank you, Parker. Yep.